Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a short video today showing you how to access this Audi glove box. Um, basically when the actual lever is broken, just pull the lever. It is a locking one, do not matter whether it's locking or not though, it's not in the lock position. But you're just pulling it and it's not doing anything to open the glove box. Uh, it's quite a common issue on these. This one's on an Audi A4 B7 model, uh, but it's pretty much the same procedure on any Audi that's got this style um, glove box and button on it. So. I'll just show you, we've got the new um, glove box button. This one's a genuine Audi one. And you can get these, if you check out the links below, I'll put some um, links to something you can get off the internet and the part numbers for them all. So this one's a locking one. You can get a, the non-locking one. It's just a case of swapping the barrel over. It's really easy, it just pops in. Um, but just something to be aware of, there is quite a few cheap ones on the internet, on eBay. Um, I'll put you some links to them all. But uh, one thing you just need to be checking is some of them are for left-hand drive glove boxes. And on the right hand drive glove box, your little lever is on this side. On your left hand um, drive glove box, the lever is on that side. So um, we've just had a few people that have been caught out buying one of the cheap ones because they only seem to list them for the left hand uh, drive glove boxes, that's all. So, um, but just showing you how to get into it now. Um, the first thing we're going to do, just simply pop this panel off. All you need to use, it's actually not fully clipped home. Um, you just want a little flat bladed screwdriver or you can just use, you could even use the end of the key and all you want to do is just pop that in there just try out the uh, what you do is just pop the uh, pop the screwdriver in the edge there just simply pop the side out of that and once you've got the side off just for simply uh, ease of doing it you can just use the key but if you just come around here little square tab just there and all you want to do is just use the blade of the key and just pop that in there and that'll release your glove box and now it's the uh, job of replacing it all you need to do just come around this side of the glove box and there's a little hole just there and you're going to want a torx little torx socket or a torx bit just in there on a little ratchet or a uh, if you can get a little finger spinner on it and um, just undo that screw and then I'll just show you uh, once we've got that out. Uh, so just for access out of the tools that I've got today, I've got this um, Torx 20 bit. Uh, it's a little bit long, I could do with a shorter one really. I can just get that in and onto the uh, into the screw there. All I've got to do, just to, all I'm going to do, just crack it off. I've just got a pair of mole grips with that there. There's just not enough room to get a, um, a ratchet in. So I'm just going to grab it with the mole grips, just crack it off and then I should be able to spin it out by hand. Just get that screw out now. So once the uh, once the screw is fully out, you can just um, pop it out. And you can see. That's what that's the issue that happens with them. That little the tab's broken off there. So all we've got to do now, just to swap the uh, the actual lock over. If you just peel it open, you can just see there's some little tabs. I'm just going to use a little flat bladed screwdriver. Just pop them out all the way around, and just pop the barrel out the front. And you just simply uh, just clip it into the new one. And um, just take note of the position that uh, it goes in. That's all. You just see when it's shut, there's a tab on the back there. So I'll just line it up the same. Now I've flicked all the tabs out, I'm just going to be careful to push it down. As you push it down, there's a couple of um, uh, locking shims for the key. So you just need to make sure you grab the side of the barrel as you pull it down so they don't pop out, that's all. So now I'm going to show you, you just release that. The, the pins just spring out there on either side of the, uh, the barrel, that's all. That's just the uh, that's just to suit the start suit the um, key. That's all. So we just keep them depressed in. Just pop it into the new one. And see, sometimes when you're putting it in, the tabs just spring out. So you just need to sort of locate them in. As you pop it in and you'll hear it clip home 
Now that we've got that back together, we just simply pop that back in, just nip the screw up, only wants a really light nip on it. Right, so we've got all that fitted now, just nipped up, and we've now got the working glove box again. So, so quite, uh, not too bad a job really. I uh, just thought I'd share the video with you all, saying it's been quite a common issue now. Uh, it's fairly easy fix and um, very, fairly easy access just taking that panel off as well. They are um, they are quite dear these handles but um, it's why she had to pay if you want it working again. So, But I uh, hope, hope the video helped. If it did, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.